Nous avons des canons, des breaths of hope to Biafran people. Since the launch of Eastern Security Network, ESN, I have really taken out some time to observe what is the general opinion of the Easterners, Biafrans, to whom this kindness has been shown. I clearly noticed that the burden of this security outfit came along with it. A certain level of reassurance to the people that someone somewhere still cares about their well-being. They truly deserve peace and such a patriot is willing to do anything to create such a conducive environment for them. However, I still noticed that there yet exist some other three major counter opinions attached which stated that they are not the against Eastern Security Network but that the governors and the elders should have been carried along. More support would have been given to the existing forest guards formed by some governors. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP is a proscribed organization and is not in a good position to launch the Eastern Security Network. To this, I am going to briefly respond to the people who think or thought that the governors and elders should have been carried along should be quickly reminded that the governors forum whose chairman is engineer Dave Umai of Ebony State had openly stated that they did take an oath to protect the interest of the federal government of Nigeria, the Fulanese, and not that of the Biafran citizens. This was clearly said by Dave Umai himself and has been proved right by other governors, especially of the Southeast region, through their recent behaviors. The Eastern elders likely have not been different in their behaviors towards the safety of our land and the preservation of its value. On the 26th of August 2020, a letter was addressed to the Ohanese Indibo leadership by Miyeti Anla, implying that they had made the choice of the next president of Ohanese Indibo in agreement with Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State. In view of this, how does one yet expect the people to trust this set of leaders for their safety and survival? Talking about the forest guards that needed to be supported due to their legality, I will simply give a brief narrative of what I personally witnessed about an incident that took place at Enugu in the month of September and also no, December 2019. I went to visit someone at Ninth Mile, Ngwo, Enugu State, and to my greatest surprise, I met the presence of several armed men comprising of majority of forest guards and police mobile officers roaming around the popular Ninth Mile Junction for about two hours at about 3 o'clock p.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. When I later took time to inquire what actually transpired, it was learned that they were ordered by a state commander to go and apprehend some hoodlums, Fulani suspects. Those presents were noticed in that neighborhood, but as they got there, they got a further order to halt the mission within that long moment of time. Tell me if that was not enough for the hoodlums in question to make their escape. Talking about the purported prescription of IPOP, it is not worthy to state here that this submission holds no water. Anybody holding this opinion should be equally reminded that the case is still in court and the federal government is here to prove its claim. With this fact, therefore, it is reasonable clearly that no person needs 
further explanation to prove that there cannot be a better security measure for Biafran land at the moment than the appearance of Eastern Security Network ESN, which is beyond the control and dictate of the corrupt Igbo politicians and elders. Thank you for listening to this news. Yes, that is the humble truth. As of now, that there, there can never be any security guard for the Southeast except this very one that has just been created by Mazenam the Kanon. You see, our Igbo governors are only turning it down because they know what these security guards are out for. They are out to expose them. They are out to stop them. They are out to push them out to the public. They are afraid because they know what the, the enlightenment and training that they have received from the leader, Mazen Namdekano. They are afraid of Namdekano. That's why none of them are in support of it. Of it. Or be that as it may, I'm afraid none of them will succeed it. None of them will be able to defeat Mazen Namdekano because it is clearly written there and clearly stated do you understand so let them keep deceiving themselves let them keep deceiving themselves but one thing is stated clear no one can stop him do you understand no one can stop him so my dear viewers um the Kano still remain the heartbeat and breadth of the beer friends he is the reason why they are they are they, they are they are safe right now if not I, i'm afraid i'm afraid of what the eastern region is supposed to be by now do you understand the east would have been something else the east would have been a different thing entirely something that even you yourself will not be able to imagine our nigerian government are not happy they are not happy with what is going on in present they are not happy with mazenam the kind of new development for the for the for the for the easterners they, they know that now the kind of coming in is going to bring a lot of development and exposure so they don't want that that is why they all keep criticizing any little effort that he makes but that doesn't matter Namikano is not looking at that what he's looking at now is for the fact that the community is safe for the now because of the presence of the security outfit all right um my viewers what is your take and your advice limit fit to leave them below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you